I just took something, so I gotta wait for it to kick in. I've had a headache last night, too. I don't know what's up. How are you guys? I was gonna go live like an hour ago. <coughs> but you know, things. Oh yeah, freaking Parappa. The inputs are jank AF. The inputs are freaking jank AF and Parappa. I don't know how they freaking got away with that, but man, those inputs were bad. It's funny because Parappa was like one of the. I, it's like the first rhythm game I ever played and I streamed it and I sucked so bad and I'm like something's wrong like, I'm like this is not just me something's wrong and I'm like do I just suck is this really how bad I am at rhythm games nah Parappa was just really bad with the input detection They didn't even fix it in the remastered, huh? I got a story to tell. I'm gonna wait for more people to join so everyone can hear. That was not my goal. Blah. I was trying to tip it over. Now I'm even at a worse disadvantage. 
Well, go freaking super far over. As far as you can go. I think... I don't think that's going to work. I want to tip it over. Now... I am freaking piss off. Why do those piss me off every time? It's not like I'm going to win any... What's this stream about? What? Does the stream have to be about something? <sighs> Streams about life. It sucks. Thanks for watching. Good night. Alright, here's my story. We all know about the freaking... My Oculus crap. Right, my Oculus analog sticks just... Drifting. I've owned it for a month. Right? And this analog stick's drifting. Meaning, if I let go of the analog stick, not pressing the analog stick, my character will drift and move to the right as if I'm pressing right does this in every game. So remember, I, 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 gave, I filed a ticket to Oculus. No reply, no reply, no reply, no reply. Guess what, Chad? Guess what? That ticket that I freaking submitted, like, it's null. You have to have... You have an account on the Oculus website, right? I have an account. On the Oculus support website... You need a whole nother account made specifically for the Oculus support site. So I submitted a ticket without being signed in or anything, and it just like went into the void. It let me do it. Because today I went to my email and I clicked the ticket number. I'm like, what is it? And then it takes me to like, cannot find. And I'm like, are you freaking serious? So I go to the Oculus website. Then I go to the Oculus support website. I'm not logged in. I go to log in, doesn't recognize my login. I'm like, are you effing serious? I had to create a whole nother account for the Oculus support site. You can't log in with your Oculus account. You have to make a new account on the Oculus support. So get this, I make the account, I file my ticket, they reply immediately. I waited, uh, how many days? Four days, no reply, because it didn't work. Make an account, file a ticket, they reply immediately. And guess what their reply entails? Let's read it. It's, it's brilliant. Thank you for contacting Oculus Support. I would happy to assist you with your controller. Okay, blah, blah, blah. While I can understand wanting to look into replacement options, because I said in it, I'm like, I want to replace this controller. It's faulty. First, we'd like to see if we can get issues resolved by completing the following steps. This is a, did you plug and unplug your computer type situation. So they give me all this crap. Unplug all USB devices. Make sure your power settings are set to maximum. Make sure your graphic drivers are up to date. All of that bull crap. It is just like, are you freaking serious? But here's one that caught my eye when I'm reading this. It's like, try running this on another computer. And I'm like, that's stupid. Oh, I have another computer. I can freaking just bypass every freaking troubleshooting option by just installing it on my second PC. So guess what I spent the last hour doing, because this is why I'm late to stream. 
I installed it on my computer. I had to download all the freaking crap. I had to download a game and install the Oculus Home. So I get all that going and I jump in and I'm like, I'm like praying. I'm like, please don't work. Like, I want the fault to be there. Because if it works, then I'm going to be screwed on my main PC. Like, what is the problem? Thankfully, <laughs> the drift is still there on my second PC. So, uh, the controller's faulty, straight up. The controller's just straight up faulty. It has nothing to do with any tech issues, any anything, you know? It's the controller being faulty. So I need to re I never replied to that because I just got done testing and I freaking installed Blade and Sorcery, uh, Boneworks, jumped into both of them and I could replicate the flipping analog drip. I'd walk forward, let go of the analog stick, and my character would just start slowly diverting to the right as if I'm pressing the controller. Uh, as if I'm pressing the analog stick. So it's the, it's the controller. So now I can just say, hey, I just hooked it up to a second PC and it still did it. So guess what? You owe me another freaking controller, suckers. This thing has like probably like less than a hundred hours of use. In fact, I know it does. It has less than a hundred hours of use on this thing. And it's drifting already. It's like I'm a freaking losing a gosh dang Nintendo Switch Joy-Con or something. I have a feeling it's the same response. I am gonna just push it. I'm gonna say, I, listen. I installed this on a separate PC. Completely separate PC. Same issue. Well, here's another thing they said. Try a different play area if possible. It's like, shut up. How would a different play area fix an analog drift? Let me see. Where did it say that? Uh. Try a new play area if available. Something, some things can that can affect tracking are reflective surfaces. Excuse me? Tracking has nothing to do with it. It's not a tracking issue. Tracking is me moving my hands around, which never is a problem. Tracking works fine. It's not a tracking issue. It's an analog stick issue. That's like saying, oh, m maybe the gyros in my thing are messing with the analog stick on my PS4 controller. No. Has nothing to do with the analog stick. The tracking, all of that, which works fine. It's never an issue. I never have tracking issues. It always detects my controllers and my hands, movements, everything, my head movement. Never been an issue. It's the analog stick, which is not related to tracking in any way. It, it was a, it was, it was a generic copy paste customer support. That's exactly what it was. And like I said, this freaking stick, it's not wobbly. It's not janky or wobbly or anything. If I'm walking forward in this sucker and let off the analog stick, I just start drifting to the right or just randomly. I was playing Skyrim today and I can't even, I can't even. I go into like a buy, like I go to a, a, bar, a, a vendor and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to sell some things. And it just starts scrolling to the right by itself. I'm like, oh, I'm going to sell this Sword? No, it goes to the, my potions. No, it goes to my freaking scrolls. And it's like, no! Oh, gosh. Uh, it's not anything to do with anything except the controller stick. It's the controller, faulty, the end. They cannot argue with me. In fact, I'm going to reply to them right the frick now. Unfortunately, it has to be the controller. I installed my Oculus on an entirely different PC. Gaming PC. A different computer. The drift persisted in every game, 
I attempted on the second PC I tried it on. Thank you for the follow, Michaela Keith. So, alright, what should I say? Unfortunately, it has to be the controller. I installed my Oculus. Well, I'll be specific. Oculus Rift S on an entirely different gaming PC. A different computer. The drift persisted in every game I attempted on the second PC I tried it on. My avatar would start walking to the right without me pressing anything. In menus, it would scroll to the right without me pressing anything. Okay. I cannot see it being anything else other than a faulty... What are they called? Oculus Touch? Oculus Touch Controller Issue. Soul Amains. What's with all the follows? Go away! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Joking. Thank you for the follow, Soul Amains. So what else should I say? That's good, right, chat? That's good. Actually, my main question is, chat, why are you, uh, new followers? Where are you coming from? Just curious, why are you popping in here? Because I'm in just chatting and I'm just some random... How many viewers do I have? Not many. Alright, chat. Proof, proof, help me out here, okay? Does this sound okay for reply, okay? Unfortunately, it has to be the controller. I installed my Oculus Rift S on an entirely different gaming PC. A different computer. The drift persisted in every game I attempted on the second PC I tried it on. My avatars would start walking to the right without me pressing anything. In menus, it would scroll to the right without me pressing anything. I cannot see it being anything else other than a faultiest, faulty Oculus controller. Sounds perfect, right? Like, mm, like, re retaliate a freaking script with that. Like, he's they're gonna be looking through their freaking troubleshooting guide. Like, um, um, what copy and paste can I show them now? It's like, no, just give me the give me your freaking mailing address so I can mail this thing to you guys so you can replace the controller. Simple as that. Should I say, like, if possible? No, what should I say? No, I'm gonna say, again, this controller is a month old. I request, I send it to, what should I say? Again, this controller is a month old. I request... No, what should I say? I'd like to just... Send the controller to you for repair or replacement. I'd like to... Just send it to you... For repair or replacement. Please. How's that, chat? How's that sound? Or should I not say, should I not say I request for the repair? Should I just finish? This controller is a month old. Like, finish there. Should I, should I keep? I'd like to just send it to you for repair replacement, please. I'm gonna just remain that. Okay. Sending it. Okay. They probably won't reply because it's not business hours, so I gotta wait for tomorrow.
repaired or I, I want it I just want a working controller I don't care if they can fix that one fine honestly a replacement would be more uh, desired because it would be a brand new controller but whatever watch me send it to them like like the graphics card watch me send it to them and being like we found no issue that would be so par for the course if that happened. After extensive testing, we found no issue with the controller. We're sending it back to you. I'd be like, oh. <sighs> well, I asked for repair or for replacement, so. I mean, I can send to them and they can do their freaking... You know what would be... You know what would solve this problem? If they just supplied you with a flippin' Oculus Touch configurator tool. Just be like, hey, download this configurator tool that showed your analog movement. The frickin' Dolphin Emulator does that. You start Dolphin Emulator up, it will show your analog movement in the control scheme. So you can adjust your dead zone Wider or smaller, depending on how big the dead zone of your freaking analog stick is. That's all I need. I need, like, plus two to my dead zone, and that drift wouldn't be an, an issue. But, it's a month old. It shouldn't have this issue to begin with. It should not have this dead zone issue. Regardless. I wouldn't say it's enthusiast VR anymore, man. We're mainstream at this point, and there's been no complaints about the issue I'm having. It's not widespread. I just have a straight-up faulty controller. It happens sometimes, and I happen to be the unlucky person to get one. Like, I Google it, and every person with a drift issue is like, my... It's original Oculus Rift owners, not Rift S. Like, original Rift owners being like, Oh, my controller's three years old and it's fine. It's starting to drift. It's like, but mine's a month old. I didn't even... I haven't even, I haven't even abused the dang thing. I haven't bashed it against anything. I haven't dropped it. Nothing. <clears throat> there is a program to check the dead zone and stuff for Oculus Rift controllers. Not Oculus Rift controllers like I googled the problem and it's like hey I, I made this program to you can adjust the dead zone on your rift controllers like, oh frick heck yeah that's all I need download it try and work it doesn't work so I go back to the post read the read the replies blah 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 some guy's like hey this isn't working on my Oculus Rift S and he's like oh this is made for rift not a rift S so it's not gonna work for rift S it's like oh So here we are. How old is the Oculus Rift S? A year? Two years? Yeah, I Google food like crazy trying to find a solution to this issue. Because I'm like, maybe I just need to reset the controller. Like something's janked and, I, and it's like, I take the batteries out. There's no freaking like... How to factory reset your controllers or anything like that? It's like you think taking the batteries out and just like relinking it with your Oculus would be the reset. So, I don't, there's no other way I can see on. I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. Not to mention I just installed it on a second PC, brand new. Well, not brand new, but a second PC separate from my other PC, which the problem was occurring on. I had to reinstall all the drivers and everything for the Oculus. New software program installed, fresh, brand new. The drift happens. It has to be the controller. Um, I wish I knew someone that just had another controller. Wouldn't that be uh? Wouldn't that be cool? I could just be like, hey, let me see if it works on mine. You know. But uh. I don't know anybody around here that has an Oculus Rift S. 
Do any other controllers work with the Oculus? Like, I bet, I bet there isn't. I know the Index doesn't. Do the Vive controllers work for the Oculus Rift S? I don't think it's compatible like anything. Is my hat crooked? My hat's always crooked. Well, regardless, let me just send it back to them. You don't want to know what another kicker is, chat. Here's another kicker. Three and a half weeks ago? Gosh, it's been maybe a three and a half, maybe a month ago. I bought... Uh, lenses to fit into my oculus that will be my prescription glasses because you can't wear glasses in vr it just like digs into your eyes and they rub against the lenses and it's bad so i've been just rocking the oculus without my glasses on got some prescription lenses to fit into the oculus so that i can have my prescription without wearing glasses which is amazing but i bought it from germany because that's the only place that sells them so, a month, three months, no, as three weeks go by, I'm checking the tracking every day, nothing, 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 nothing. Like, let's see, freaking, um, December 13th is when I bought, when it was shipped. No, December 11th. January 2nd, it finally blipped up. On the freaking tracking info. So it's three weeks of just waiting. So it's like, hey, it's in the U.S. now, but it's in New York. And it's like, well, it's in the U.S. Cool. Now it's in Salt Lake City, which is in Utah, which is where I live. And it's like, cool. So it might be delivered tomorrow or the next day. And I got to maybe send this controller back and not even be able to use my Rift S. I guess I can watch m movies. I got some 3D movies I could watch. But other than that, I won't be able to play anything. Because I kind of need that controller. <laughs> so it'd be like, yeah, I got it. Now I can't play. But... See you, Solomains. Hey, chat. How about you? What's your, what's your pet peeve right now? What's just pissing you off? What's your first world problem? I know what Unwise's problem is. Yeah, unwise. Have you are they sending your PC back to you yet, or what?
Yeah, unwise knows how that is. Yeah, they're probably not going to reply to me until tomorrow. I can't believe that, though. It would figure, though, you know? Since I started late tonight, I didn't even upload a YouTube video. I was just going to hang out tonight, chat. Just so hang with me. No one's even talking. You're all just like... Oh, what I do? Oh, someone give me nine dollars so that I can pay for the TTT server for the month. I said nine dollars. Oh, you got a vibe? Nice. Yeah, I need that money before the 17th. I guess I could put up a donation goal for it. Nine bucks, though. There's actually a thing, you can link the server, there's a donation thing for the server, it's like, hey, give money to this, here's the, here's the server, you give money and we'll pay for it. But I don't want to do that because people will probably just pump me. <laughs> Thank you. As you wish. Because people probably just sit and pump unnecessary amounts of money into it. It's like, that's not, we don't need that much. Well, there we go. Now I'm going to go buy me a Subway sandwich. What else can nine dollars get me? All right, I'll pay that. I need to talk to Speedy though, because he switched servers or something. So I don't know if the same link he gave me was to pay it. I don't remember. sucks I need to I ever since Black Friday hit I don't know what happened to me I've been so freaking frugal I guess is the word just like not I don't like just don't buy anything and then Black Friday hit and I'm just like oh, oh an oculus for 350 and then after that it's like oh I'm a SSD figuring 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 uh, 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 uh. I bought God of War again I bought God of War twice because the special edition was like 50 bucks off and it came with this and I really wanted it so I essentially just paid for the statue look at that thing freaking awesome but it's freaking huge 
Like, I need to chill. I don't know what's up with me. I check my bank account. It's like, are you freaking serious, dude? Like, stop. And it's these little things, too. A lot of things I've been needing, but I still, I, I usually, even things I need, I don't buy. But lately, it's just like, oh. Like, what have I bought? I bought a new dumbbells. A new dumbbells. Freaking, just the little things here and there, and the big things here and there. I bought a freaking Majin Vegeta because he was 15. Did they ship that? It's been days since I bought that thing. Oh yeah, and I bought a Geralt of Rivia figurine off eBay because it was like super cheap. It's like, stop. I don't have an extra copy because I bought it digitally and now I have it physically. I would just give this one away, but look at this. This is freaking nice. Like, I'm not giving that away. That's freaking nice, man. You should have seen the box it came in, chat. For that statue, the box was like this wide and like this tall. It was like I had to like carry it like this. It was like are you serious with this thing? It was huge! Did I buy it physically? Uh, no, I don't see it here. I don't see no God of War. I think I did buy it digitally. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Doom Guy helmet. I don't know where to put it. I was gonna put the Doom Guy helmet right where I put that Kratos statue. I'm gonna have to like move the Kratos statue because I want the Doom Guy helmet right there. But I don't know where I'm gonna put the statue if I do. <laughs> Maybe I'll, have to, I'll just have to shift things around. Not only that, but I have a freaking collection of... Chad, I can't even talk about it. Remember those figurines I really wanted? That was $380? And I'm like, I'm not buying these. I'll do donation go for kicks. And then, like, Ted just gave me $380. I'm like, oh, Alright. So I got these four figurines coming in at the end of January. Who spends $380 on freaking little figurines that do nothing but sit on a shelf? This is the worst hobby ever, man. Hobbies suck, man. Well, Ted gave me 1300 later... Like, he gave me, like, he, that dude just given me thousands of dollars. That guy's insane. He gave me a thousand for the graphics card, too. That crapped out on me, but it ended up working out in the long run. That, that dude's insane. But, like, what a waste of money. I went, I was on, like, this, I was on Reddit, and it's, like, talking about, what's your hobby or something like that? And everything I read is like, all these people are like, I collect this and it's such a waste of money. And I'm like, so I'm not the only one that does this kind of thing. That feels a little bit better. But it's such a freaking waste of money, man. What a weird, dumb hobby. But yeah, there's a surprisingly amount of uh, train collectors out there. I don't get that, but, like, I'm sure a lot of people don't get what I do, either. I don't, either, honestly, but... Because, look, it's Goku freaking just beating the crap out of... What's his name? It's not Tangerine. Which one's this one called? Crap, what one... Who is this one? Tangerine's the one after this one. What's this one? What the frick is his name? Gosh, that's such a good freaking statue figurine. Oh, look at that. Elbowing him right in the face. It's, just, it's, like, it's like just captured right out of the manga. 
the frick is his name? Tangerine. I don't even remember the names. Tangerine's like the fat one that Yajirobe eats. Nobody knows. You freaking claim to be anime fans. Shut the frick up if you don't even watch Dragon Ball. I've actually been looking into a way to watch, rewatch Dragon Ball. Because I have the whole collection on DVD, but they're freaking awful. They're cropped to no end. Because it's like, back in that day, it's like, let's zoom in and crop to make it 16 by 9. Oh, that's so cool. And I bought the whole collection of Dragon Ball and Z of that. They're the orange, the orange, uh, the orange bricks, whatever they're called. They're the orange colored ones. You've all seen them on, in stores. But they're cropped so bad, man. Like, I mean, like 20% of the screen is cropped. And it's like, man, I just want to watch it 4x3 original. And I'm like, I can't find a way to do it. I watched this video on YouTube about, like, the depressing state of Dragon Ball DVDs or whatever, and it's like, wow, they never really released a good collection of good quality Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. They're like, oh, we put it through this filter and it's gonna look so good. It looks so bad. It's so bad. The filter they ran it through in one of the collections. And then there's the Dragon Box, which was the ultimate collection, which is what I get, except they're like $118 per season, and I'm not paying for that. You saw what? Dude, all those, like, Lego and Mega Bloks things are stupid expensive. I would get, I would be so much more into Lego and I'd have them all over my shelves if they weren't hundreds of dollars. It's like, cool, I want this ATAT, -AT, and it's like, here's, it's 300 bucks. And it's like, that should be like 20. What? Give me a freaking paper and a list of why it's $300. Like, show me the expenses here. It's literal plastic. It's just plastic things that are machine manufactured. How's that $300? Oh, you saw that video. Cool. Yeah, it was in my recommended. I'm sure... YouTube likes to shove recommendeds at everybody. Because I'll click a video on my recommended and all the comments are like, why is this in my recommended? Shout out to everyone that has this in their recommended in 2000. It's like, what the heck? Why is it? That's weird. Well, I love Legos. I love them. I was a <laughs> Lego maniac when I was a kid, man. Straight up. I would spend all day just making my own Lego stuff. I would not use sets. I've gone through. I've said this before, but I'd buy specific sets for specific parts. So I could just build my own stuff, like trucks, monster trucks, diesels, semis. I just build so many things. Like I'd build the engine and the vehicles. I was obsessed with Legos. They're awesome. And now they're just stupid expensive. I would love the Millennium Falcon Lego set. It's six hundred dollars. You know what else I could give for six hundred dollars? A lot of things. A lot of things. I mean, I usually go through the recommended of YouTube every night before bed. And for some reason, it's, it's just me, it's because of the algorithm targeting me. Watching chiropractors getting, doing adjustments is like so weirdly satisfying to me. It's like all my freaking uh, related, or my recommended stuff is like all neck snap really loud and I'd click it and he's like adjusting their neck it's like <laughs> and I'm like ah and I'm like why am I wa why am I watching these I just watch tons of like chiropractor adjustment videos and the thumbnails are always like this extremely fit hot women like showing their butt in a yoga shorts or their big boobs like the thumbnails are always like that so I'm like yeah I'll watch her get adjusted <laughs> sure <laughs> crack her back <laughs> I 
I need to, like, I'm in the whole anime collecting thing, and I'm getting into the video game. I can't. I, I've been looking at Star Wars figurines, and I'm like, oh. And I'm like, no. No. You don't have room for that. You don't have money for that. You're not collecting. You're not going to start doing Star Wars figurines. Stop. Oh, I'm sure Lego's stolen all the time. I've said the story. I That's one of the um, the few things I've shoplifted in my day. One of them was a Lego set. And it was like a $12 set. So it was like... That was a dumb teenager. Man, whatever am I going to put those Final Fantasy figurines? I want them right here. So I'm going to have to like readjust everything. I wanted to make a lightsaber at Disneyland. But they're $300. Also, I had to, like, you have to, like, specifically, it's crazy, the, the, whatever it's called, the, the Star Wars land at Disneyland, you have to, like, ask around where they do the lightsaber thing, because it's kind of like this little secretive thing. And they're, like, all, when I'm like, hey, where do you do the lightsabers? They're always like, shh, no, you don't say that around here. And he's like, you mean the death sticks? Because, you know, lightsabers are, like, banned or something, so they're, like, all being in... Uh, role play that I'm like yes the death sticks and they tell me where to go and then I go there and I'm like nah I'm not spending 300 dollars <laughs> yeah galaxy's edge like it's just a little secret if it's like in a little back alley you gotta you have to ask around for it and then they like take groups of people you have to like sign of like a, a like a uh, to be on like a list of, like yeah I'm gonna be here at this time to go in and then you go through this whole flipping thing of building your lightsaber you got to choose all the parts and it's like it's like this freaking ceremony thing it's freaking awesome i've seen clips of it galaxy's edge was amazing man it's my favorite part about going to disneyland last year i was so glad to gosh just going there you're just like oh you just nerd out, man. The freaking Millennium Falcon is there. Real life size. Huh? And you go inside the cockpit of it in the ride. You go in the freaking... You go in the, 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 the guest area of the Millennium Falcon in the line. And it's got a little seat and a little chess thing they play, you know? It, it, does, it doesn't function or anything, but it's like an exact replica of the inside of the Millennium Falcon. And it's like, oh my gosh. This is amazing. Took pictures, of course. I haven't been to Universal since I was a teenager, so I have no idea what's better. I'd say Disneyland. Universal's a little outdated, I think, now. I, what do I... I don't know. I haven't been there since I was, like, 13, so I don't know. Universal Orlando's pretty good. But Disney World's so much better. Man, I gotta go to Disney World, like, twice for free. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Got to Universal for free. I had the connections, man. I knew like two people and both of them could get me in for free. It's getting cold in here. My window's open and it's like 20 degrees outside. Let's see how hot it is, or hot. Let's see how cold it is. Oh, it's 28, that's not too bad. Harry Potter Land was pretty cool in Universal Orlando. My ride got stuck when I went on it. <laughs> Watch out, Harry! It just kept saying that over and over again. Like, we were stuck upside down. It's not like a roller coaster thing or anything, it just goes through this thing, but like, we got stuck, like, not upside down, but like sideways, like this. And I'm just, we're just waiting here. Just waiting. And it's like, watch out, Harry! Because you're supposed to go through it once and hear that once, but it just kept looping. Watch out, Harry! And it just kept saying that, and I'm like, well, this is awkward. 
Very uncomfortable in that angle. Took a while for them to get the ride going again. That's the only thing for me. That happens all the time. At Disneyland, I've got a video of it. I tweeted it out. Uh, we went on the, the, the Haunted Mansion, which was Nightmare Before Christmas themed in October. So, it was a Nightmare Before Christmas themed. And uh, the ride got s stopped. And we were like at Oogie Boogie. I have a I have a tweet of it. It's hilarious. Like it looks like Oogie Boogie's talking. It's like some kid's voice. Like, ladies and gentlemen, stay in your seats. The ride will begin shortly. And it looks like Oogie Boogie's saying it. And then the same thing happened on the Little Mermaid ride, and we just passed Ursula, which would have been freaking hilarious. And I would have been able to record that. We just passed Ursula. And it would have looked like Ursula was saying it. Ladies and gentlemen, the ride needs to be in a th It would have been hilarious if I got that twice. But we just passed Ursula when the ride stopped and we had to wait. I'm like, oh. I don't even know how I'd find that on Twitter. Twitter, Killplex, Oogie Boogie. Would that even work? How do you even find past tweets on Twitter? Like, specific tweets. I guess there's the advanced search thing. Yeah, I can't find it. Do Twitter advanced search. Oogie Boogie, like, wouldn't it just be Oogie Boogie? Maybe I spelled it wrong. Eight K resolution from NASA. Are you I've never heard of that and nothing would be able to run that. Are you serious? No graphics card would be able to run an eight K resolution. On an uh, on a VR? That's to render the image twice at eight K? You can't even run one image once at a high frame rate at eight K on a freaking modern graphics card. Oh, I found it. I found the tweet. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, there it is. like he's saying it oh uh, and that would have had like it just missed it at that uh, little mermaid ride because it stopped there as well i don't know what my luck is with that kind of thing but rides stop a lot when i i have a weird thing um i this girl i dated was like like freaked out because of it because it was just a thing with me and I don't know if it is anymore because I don't get out much but when I whenever I go out at night and drive down the road whatever street lights shut off when I go near them that always seems to be a thing with me and this girl I dated we were driving and I'm like yeah lights always do and it did it I'm like see like and like every time we'd go out a freaking like street light would go out when I go under and I'm like yeah there it is and she's like what the frick but is it just me, or is that like a thing that it does? Prevents overhead. It isn't... Wait, what? What, do you, what does that even mean? It shuts off when cars and lights get near it. Is that a thing? Prevents overheat. But why would it do that every time I get near them? Because I'm too hot to handle? It was just weird, though. It happens so often for me. I don't really notice it much, but again, I don't get out much anymore, so... Well, 
Like, I always wondered, is it just, like, a thing that lights do when you get, when cars get near them? But, it, like, doesn't seem to happen for anybody else. Like, everyone, like, my brother would freak out that it happens whenever I'm driving. Like, everyone's like, why does that happen with you? I don't know, man. Man, my YouTube's just gone to crap, dudes. Like, 3K views for highlight video, that was okay, sure. And now it's like, after July, August, it just went down to like, 1K view. Like, my viewership just does nothing but go down on YouTube. That's all it does. It makes me wonder why I even upload videos to those to there anymore. I know it's a lost cause, I do know that, but it's just stupid that I have 73,000 subscribers and I get a thousand views on my highlight videos, you know? Okay. Reminds me of Twitch, how I have almost 8,000 followers. And I get like 30, 25, 30 viewers average. I just touched my lens, didn't I? Yuck, my glasses are grody anyway. Followers mean nothing on Twitch. And it's just like YouTube now. Like, followers or subs mean nothing on YouTube. It's all about the hard numbers. And it's so bizarre that I get 30 average viewers. Even less than that. Like, 25 maybe average viewers. Like, across the board. And I have 90 subs? Like, 90 people are actually giving me money, and I only get, like, 25 average viewers. I'm not complaining, but that's so weird to me. That is so bizarre. And it's not like I can, like, all 90 people are able to come watch me at the specific time every night, of course. But, like, that's crazy still. It's very weird how that works. On YouTube, you get way less views than your subs. And on Twitch, you get more subs than your views. That just seems to be the thing. Like, streamers will have more subs than their average viewer count. That's just how it goes. It's so weird. And I'm like I said, I'm not complaining. Like, 90 subs is freaking crazy for me. It pays friggin' most of my bills of the month, so I'm good. <clears throat> How much is 90 subs a month? Oh, I can't take that. I can't do the math because I gotta take tier threes into account. Just say average 90 times 5 divided by 2.50. 180 a month? I make more than that. Did I do the math wrong? <laughs> like, 90 times 5, because it's $5 or so, 450 divided by 2, it's more like, I guess, 200 something. Eek. That does not pay my bills. What am I talking about? But don't with donations it does. With donations it does. Chat. With donations it does. I'm gonna Google that. I forgot about that. 
can Twitch affiliates stream on YouTube? <coughs> Can Twitch partners stream on YouTube? Twitch partners cannot stream on YouTube gaming. And I'm sure that goes to affiliates as well. Thanks to an exclusivity clause that states that live streaming cannot take place on rival services. So there you have it. I cannot. Else I risk losing my affiliation with Twitch. Don't stream on YouTube gaming, then? I don't know, man. I wouldn't risk it regardless. Like, YouTube ain't... Like, that ain't worth risking at all. By any means. I wish I gave it one try, though. Tried streaming once. Like, back in the day, it was... That wasn't a thing. Vinny? Vine Sauce? He had a program that let him stream on multiple services. He'd stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Like, the same stream would stream to Twitch and YouTube. So he gets so many views. Like, so many views. He'd play one game, he'd just stream one game, and everybody from Twitch and YouTube could watch that stream on the each service. I never streamed on YouTube. I never streamed on YouTube, Shave. What are you friggin' on about? GTA 5... It was livestream.com. It was livestream.com. Shaved. I never streamed on YouTube. Don't even. GTA 5 on YouTube? You are full of crap and you cannot prove anything else because there's... The, 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 I didn't. I did not stream on YouTube. Ever. I think... Wait. No, that was that was on Twitch as what that, I did a thing for charity once. I'm pretty sure that was Twitch though. Yeah, you're wrong. Straight up, freaking wrong. Yeah, streams archive on YouTube. Is there a way to like search for specific archives on YouTube? Like stream archive or something. Yeah, that was livestream.com. Wow, I have 58 videos of GTA in the title. I don't delete VOD. I don't I have a bunch of unlisted videos on Twitch on YouTube. So if I did, it would be unlisted. And I didn't. I didn't. I did not. That video of that guy crying is unlisted. That's why it's so impossible to find. Alright. All my GTA videos are public. Public, 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 public. Yeah, they're all public. GTA Superman mod, 2007. I uploaded this video in 2007. And I got 34,000, well, I mean, that's over the course of over 10 years. How is that Superman? Superman can't move things with his mind. I was modding games when you guys were in diapers. Forty P is the best we got. 
I wonder what I used to record this, man. 2007. Must have had to have been Fraps. Alright, that's cold. That's cold. Vent a little bit on something. I have I have this VPN called Tor Guard, and on the site you can click on the services like one month for five dollars, three months for blah blah dollars or whatever. So I've had this account on Tor Guard for a while. And I'm like, I'm gonna, I want, I want a VPN this month, okay? Go to the website. I click the service. I'm like, something happened. I'm like, wait, what? And so I click the service again on accident. And it like, like, okay, this is what happened. So I got the service, and I'm like, okay, I used it that month. And then I went back this month to do it again. I want, want a VPN this month. And it's like, hey, you owe us money for this one you clicked. Because I accidentally clicked it twice or whatever. And I'm like, no, no. It's like, well, if you want any more service, you gotta pay for that one. And I'm like, but I paid for the one I did. And then what happened? I, I... I, like, I was trying to figure it out. And I'm like, I don't want to pay with my credit card because they don't accept PayPal anymore. And so I'm like, I'll get a Walmart gift card because they accept gift cards. And so I click the gift card option, and I'm like, I'll put $10 into it, and I, I put my gift card info in, and it said, we're going to take all $20 of this gift card. I'm like, no, I just want to put 10 in, so it's like, I'll, and it says in big letters, it's like, we will not charge you until you press confirm, and so I'm like, no, cancel, I don't want you to take all 20 and so I like tried to do something else, and it's like, hey, you owe us. You owe us for this, uh, this $20 gift card. You gotta pay this. And I'm like, what? It's like, so now you owe us, uh, $25 if you want a service. And it's like, what? There was no way to cancel it. There was no way to say, hey, delete that. It's in my invoices right now saying I owe them $5 and $20. So if you click anything, it just immediately goes to your invoice and you have to pay it. You just have to. And so I'm like, I'm... Alright, so I made a new account. <laughs> the end. So I'll just make a new account then. If I have to pay all this in order to get more. So I freaking made a new account, and I'm good to go. It's so bizarre. Like, I clicked gift card. I'm like, let's see, uh, I'll add 10. And it's like, it's like, you're about to add $20 to your account. To your... Your VPN account. I'm like, no, never mind, cancel. It's like, now you owe us 20 bucks. You, you click the gift card button, and you, you owe us another five for because you accidentally clicked one month, or you clicked one month th that time, so you owe us five for that. So if you click literally anything, it's just like, bam, you owe us that money now. Don't care if you didn't use the service or not, and it's like, they're not giving me the service either. I don't have it. I tried logging in, it's like, you, you don't have service right now. Then why, am, why are you charging me for it? So, goodbye to that account. Yeah, that site's janked up. I mean, the VPN works fine, so whatever. But frick. And they ditched... Uh, PayPal ditched them, too, which is weird. Apparently, PayPal's ditching a lot of VPN services. But they accept uh, gift cards, so I'm like, well, I don't have to put my bank account information. I just use a gift card, so I'll just do that. It's amazing. 
It took me like an hour to get around that too. Anytime the pro, any pro anytime a little problem happens, it takes me so long to freaking get right. Like the Oculus thing. I'm like, oh, I'll install it on my second PC, and that took like an hour. Mostly because I had to download. Well, it took, I think it took longer to install than download. It was like a 7 gig install for the Oculus program. And then the install took forever. It's like, freaking A, man. It downloaded 7 gigs faster than you can install the dang thing. So after Half-Life Episode 1 and 2, I guess I'll do Doom. I don't know. Right now we're just waiting for the heavy hitters, but I'm three months away, so we got time. Alright chat, name a random YouTube video. Funny cat no just kidding. Remember back in the early two thousands, two thousand tens, it was always about the fat kid. Fat kid falls. Funny fat kid fails. <laughs> John Freeman. Let's watch that. I haven't watched that in ages. Full life consequences. John Freeman over here. How many episodes are there? Oh. Three. brother was one day in an office typing on a computer. He got an email from his brother that said that aliens and monsters were attacking his place and asked him for help. So he went. John Freeman got his computer shut down and went on the platform to go up to the roof of the building where he left his motorcycle and normal people closed because he was in his office lab coat. John Freeman got on his motorcycle and said, It's time for me to live up to my family name and face full life consequences. So he had to go. John Freeman ramped off the building and did a backflip and landed. He kept driving down the road and made sure there was no zombies around because he didn't have weapons. The countryside were nice, and the plants were singing, and the birds and the sun was almost down from the top of the sky. The mood was set for John Freeman's quest to help his brother where he was. John Freeman looked around the countryside and said, It's a good day to do what has to be done by me and help my brother to defeat the enemies. John Freeman was late, so he had to drive really fast. A cop car was hidden nearby, so when John Freeman went by, the cops came and wanted to give him a ticket. Here John Freeman saw the first monster, because the cop was possessed and had head crabs. I can't give you my license, officer, John Freeman said. Why not, said the head crab officer back to John Freeman. Because you are a head crab zombie, 
So John Freeman shot the officer in the head and drove off thinking, my brother is in trouble there and went faster. John Freeman had to go faster like the speed of sound and got there fast because Gordon needed him where he was. John Freeman looked at road signs and saw Raven home with some on writing under it saying, you shouldn't come here. So John Freeman almost turned around but heard screaming like Gordon, so he went faster again. John Freeman rolled in and did another flip and jumped off his motorbike. And the motorbike took off some dead crab zombies in front of John Freeman. John Freeman smiled and walked fast. John then looked on the ground and found weapon. So he picked it up and fired fast at zombie ghosts in front of a house. John Freeman then said, Zombie ghosts, leave this place. And the zombie ghost said, But this is our house. And John Freeman felt sorry for them because they couldn't live there anymore because they were zombie ghosts. So he blew up the house and killed the zombie ghosts so they were at peace. Then John Freeman heard another scream from his brother, so he kept walking really faster to get where he was. Raven Holden was not making life in the countryside. There was no birds singing, and the pads were dead, and the dirt was messy and bloody from head grabs. When John Freeman got to where the screaming was started, he found his brother, Gordon Freeman, fighting the final boss. And Gordon said, John Freeman, over here! So John Freeman went there to where Gordon Freeman was fighting. John Freeman fired his bullet from the gun really fast, and the bullet went and shot the final boss in the eyes, and the final boss couldn't see. Gordon Freeman said, it's time to end this once and for all, and punched the final boss in the face, and the final boss fell. John Freeman said, thanks, I could help, bro. And Gordon Freeman said, you should come here earlier next time, and they laughed. I made a gif of this. <laughs> I made a gif. I actually did something. But yeah, I had a gif of this somewhere on my computer. And Gordon Freeman said, You should come here earlier next time. And they laughed. When the laugh overed quickly, though, because John Freeman yelled, Look out, bro! And pointed up to the top of the sky. Gordon Freeman looked up and said, No! John Freeman, run out of here as fast as you can! And John walked real fast out. John locked back and saw Gordon get stepped on by the next boss, and he was mad and angry. I'll get you back, evil boss, John Freeman yelled at the top of lung. To be continued. At the top of lung. Half-life, full-life consequences to what has to be done. John Freeman walked like speed of light back to his motorcycle and left behind the bad place behind him. John Freeman had to ride his motorcycle really fast back to the office, but John Freeman's gas ran out. John Freeman jumped fast off the motorcycle and landed on dead people's hands. Gordon Freeman is now these hands. I must kill the next boss and live up to full life consequences, John Freeman said aloud. John Freeman picked up a laser gun and aimed at a tree to see if he could. John Freeman shot and tree fell down in front of him. John Freeman seen eggs fall out of the tree and he put them back home safe. These birds don't have to see Gordon Freeman yet. It's not time, John Freeman said to him. John Freeman had to walk faster and was back in his office work and on a computer. He looked on the internet and found the next boss. I know his weakness now, John Freeman said. After that he got emails from someone. John Freeman opened up the emails and read them. Dear John Freeman, how are you? I miss you at home. Come home safe and soon with Gordon Freeman for Thanksgiving dinner. Love, Mom. 
John Freeman looked at it and got sad and yelled, I will kill the boss and Gordon Freeman will be happy soul. Then he turned on off the computer and went on the platform again, down to his other more faster motorcycle that had gas in it this time. John Freeman put the laser gun on his motorcycle and his machine gun and his rocket gun that he found on the side of the motorcycle. He went through traffic and went fast like lightning to back to Ravenholm and back to the bad place where Gordon Freeman was. John Freeman went off road and did backflips and landed on back wheels but kept going too. John Freeman went really fast again like before and was soon back at Ravenholm but saw more zombie ghosts. John Freeman said to them, Zombie ghost, I have killed your friends at the old house, and I don't want to shoot your heads. Move near the countryside, and you will be friends of John Freeman. The zombie ghost said that, No, we will kill you, and walked fast to John Freeman's motorcycle. John Freeman waited until they were in front of his motorcycle, and backflipped off his bars, and shot heads below, and landed, and walked fast to where the next boss was. You will be one of us, yelled the dead zombie ghost. John Freeman laughed and shot a rocket at them. John Freeman saw the next boss far down the road and walked slow this time. He walked really slow like a turtle and sat down on a rock and watched the next boss near the dead last boss and for the place that Gordon Freeman was. The next boss was laughing at John Freeman. So John Freeman said, You will not laugh at me! And shot a rocket at him and that was his weakness. The next boss died and John Freeman was happy. He walked over to the dead bosses and put them under the ground and planted pants on them so instead of messy dirt and dark, there was pretty things there now to be happy. John Freeman walked to where Gordon Freeman was lying dead and crushed from the next boss's feet. He looked down. A tear dropped out of John Freeman's eye and landed on Gordon Freeman. You are dead, bro, and I killed the evil boss. John Freeman told Gordon Freeman. Then John Freeman saw something bad. A head crab was on Gordon Freeman. Gordon Freeman standing up and said, John Freeman, you got here slow, and now I am zombie ghost. You will pay. Three episodes? Hero beginning. Wow, the quality got a lot better. In the future, the world was dark and scary. One day, combines came and knew knew why. Combines were robot things that weren't robots with ugly faces and sometimes glowing eyes enslaved people in the city and made them angry and sad. Henry Freeman, who was living in the city, and with his mom, said, Mom, why are combines here? And she said, Henry Freeman, combines are from science and outer space and hate combines. Henry Freeman really hated combines because they beat up everyone, and Henry Freeman hated it. Mom, why are they beating up that girl? Henry Freeman said to his mom, Because she is home of Henry Freeman, and they are evil combines. Henry Freeman's mom said back, Hey, you combine, stop beating her up, you evil guys. Henry Freeman yelled loud at them. Shut up, kid, or you will pay, the combine said, and aimed their laser guns at Henry Freeman's head. Combines don't aim your lasers, yelled mom, and the combine shot her and laughed. Ha ha, stupid humming girl with no head, they said with smiles. Henry Freeman graved his mom's hand and said, Mom, you were beautiful soul, and combines will pay. Henry Freeman, ball, get out of here as fast as you can. Henry Freeman's mom said and died. Then Henry Freeman grabbed a weapon and shot the combines in the heart and said, This is not over. The people around Henry Freeman cheered and smiled and said, Good job, Henry Freeman, we hate those combines. Combines made people afraid, and when Henry Freeman killed them, it gave them hope. Combines, we are not scarred no more, said Henry Freeman, and everyone around Henry Freeman said yeah, and grabbed laser guns and rocks. Henry Freeman and the people walked fast like waves and went towards the Combine Tower.
that was big like the sky. To send you back to science and outer space, Henry Freeman yelled with mad. Attack the Combines, Henry Freeman yelled again. The war was going and blowing things up when Henry Freeman saw a gravity gun on the ground. Combines, it is time to do what has to be done and live up to my family name, Henry Freeman whispered with head down. The Combines were shotting people and steeping on them with spiders and people were shooting laser guns back and killing them sometimes. Explosions like ten times of the sun went around Henry Freeman, but Henry Freeman didn't care. Humankind is losing and I need to help, Henry Freeman said. Then a big rocket came down and blew a guy's arm off and legs and head and killed other people too. Henry Freeman saw the dead going on all around. The Combine were too strong and big, but Henry Freeman didn't care neither. Henry Freeman put the gravity gun on and started to throw spiders and at buildings. The buildings fell and made dust and smoke and blinded combines, so Henry Freeman could use the gravity gun to throw them into the sky really high and make them squish. The people were whining, but then blowing things went in the sky and combines came out. Henry Freeman, we have to get out of here, a guy said to Henry Freeman. No, they are all everywhere, another guy said. You are surrounded, prepare to die, the dark man said. Henry Freeman looked around. Combines with laser guns were there. Henry Freeman knew if Hummins lost now, it would be sad forever. Fight, Henry Freeman yelled. People run towards the Combines to kill them, and the Combines were going to shoot all the people in a second when a bright light came into sky. A shiny thing like the Combines came from open in the sky, and a guy came out. Combines, leave my son alone. Half-life, full-life consequences, free man. Oh, that is four episode. John Freeman backflipped out of the sky and landed besides Henry Freeman. Henry Freeman looked at John Freeman in the eyes and cry fought out and said, Dad, Mom has dead! John Freeman went sad at the ground, <laughs> then moved head real fast up. Combine, <laughs> you killed wife? John Freeman said with growls. Holy Combine, crap, dude, the that's funny. Said, Dad, Mom has dead! John Freeman went sad at the ground, then moved head real fast up. <laughs> Combine, you killed wife? John Freeman said with growls. Yes, John Freeman. The dark man said after. Henry Freeman's mom. Fun fact. These guys like. I don't know if they paid. Or they just. Begged this kid to finish this fan fiction. Because it was not. It was unfinished. But this was such a big hit. They're like dude. Please finish this story. So that we can finish these freaking. These episodes. So they like. I don't, I don't know if they paid him. But they convinced the kid. To finish the fan fiction so that they could finish this freaking animated series. Shot in head, the dark man said again. I loved wife like sun rays. Dark man, you will suffer! John Freeman taunted and yelled. John Freeman jumped into the sky with kicks and hit dark man, and the dark man's mask ripped off and John Freeman's seed ugly combine face, but it looked like Tummin too. The dark man scrambled back to combines, and combines went to shoot John Freeman. But Henry Freeman throwed grenade. Well, you didn't know that, Shane. That's the that's why it's so funny. At first, it was just this stupid fanfic going around, and they're like, "Let's make an animated thing of it because it's so stupid." And then it, it was so great. They're like, they they asked the kid to finish the fanfic so that they could finish the animated series. You never even knew this existed. Were you born yesterday? How? <clears throat> For J. 
John Freeman to shot them in faces. Son, take people and leave the city. It's time I have to kill the enemies and make evil go away from here, forest of time. John Freeman said to Henry Freeman and people. John Freeman, we fight, people said, and didn't go nowhere. Dad, Hummins have to fight for freedom, Henry Freeman said, and didn't go nowhere neither. John Freeman was frayed for first time. He yeah, didn't well, you don't know anything, so that doesn't mean anything. Henry Freeman was yeah, John Freeman kidding. saw combines start to run like monsters to Hummins and I Henry keyed. Freeman and saw Henry Freeman and Hummins run like brave to combines. John Freeman got quiet. Then dropped weapon and said, I have to kill fast and bullets too slow. And started killing combines with bare hands. John Freeman was killing combines and parking next in Hummins, and Henry Freeman was behind shooting at combines at front. Now combines got scarred and ran back to the dark man who was at the door to the big tower that was big onto the sun and went around the dark man and got ready to fight again. Then the dark man pressed the button that made the big tower glow and smoke. John Freeman, you let next ball step on me and made me head crop zombie. Combines came and put science in me and made me live and strong and big now. I make you and Henry Freeman head crop zombie. Prep air to die, Gordon Freeman said. Gordon Freeman, you are my bro and I killed next boss. Combine science is bad and made you trick, bro. Stop the button and glowing, John Freeman said. No! Gordon Freeman angered back. Gordon Freeman teleported to John Freeman and hit on the crowbar, and John Freeman tried to grab it, but couldn't, so he punched Gordon Freeman instead. John Freeman and Gordon Freeman was fighting for life and death when the Combine started shooting at each other again. Henry Freeman got in front of Hummins and saw the tower smoke and glow more and more like lightning clouds. Henry Freeman shouted, It will explode! So Henry Freeman and the people shot bullets and bombs at Combine so Humankind could press the button and make it stop. Then Henry Freeman went to a Combine's car and shoot all the Combines in it and went to the top and used the turret gun. Henry Freeman made the turret gun shoot Combines and bullets cut them in two and half. Henry Freeman kept shooting Combines, and the rest of Hummins got closer and closer to Button to stop it. The Combine shot at the Hummins and made some die, but no one cared because they had to do it. Then Combines started coming out of the Hug Tower to stop the Hummins. There was too much Combines, and Hummins couldn't go to the Button no more. And the tower was all smoke and glow, expect for a little bit. John Freeman knew it was too late, and Hummins couldn't stop Button. John Freeman had barley time, but was still fighting Gordon Freeman. Bro, it is time, I'm sorry, John Freeman said to Gordon Freeman. Time for you to die, John Freeman, Gordon Freeman said back. No, bro, John Freeman said, then kicked Gordon Freeman and the part of the face that was like combines. The science flew off Gordon Freeman's face and landed and blew up in a boom, and Gordon Freeman stood and fall. Bro, Gordon Freeman said, so John Freeman got closer to the ground like Gordon Freeman. Combines made me tricked, bro. I'm sorry, Gordon Freeman said. I know, bro, but you are hero, John Freeman said back to Comfort Gordon. <laughs> Save Hummins and bro. Comfort? John Freeman said back to Comfort Gordon. Save Hummins and <laughs> Freeman. Gordon Freeman said quiet like pain and breathe slower and slower. John Freeman had Gordon Freeman and saw eyes shut, and the breath stooped, but Gordon Freeman had smiles on face. John Freeman let go Gordon Freeman and went up back on his feet, and locked his head around, and saw trees and aminals and hummins, then looked at Glowy Tower and knew what has to be done. Son and people, get back! John Freeman said out real loud, so Henry Freeman front flipped off turret and went with people back to John Freeman and ducked bullets and rackets. Son, take people on motorcycle and leave city. Make people safe, son, and nothing happened to them, John Freeman said to Henry Freeman. But Dad, I fight, Henry Freeman said. No, son, go with people, John Freeman said, so Henry Freeman and Hummins went on motorcycle. Henry Freeman started on motorcycle and started to go but slow because he didn't want to. The Combine saw and said, STOP THE HUMMINS! <laughs> and went charge at motorcycle. 
John Freeman walked towards Combines and made fists with hands. I think they took liberties with this whole segment, since it's like not narrated at all, you know? <laughs> There's like no narration, it's just like this dumb action scene. Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. Through no fault of the Enrichment Center, you have managed to trap yourself in this room. An escape hatch will open in 3, 2, 1. Goodbye. It's GLaDOS. Thank you for that astute observation. Are you still standing there? Maybe you think you're helping yourself. No. But you're not. It's Abraham this Lincoln. Helping get who's either fling yourself. E there really was a flipping into space. Are you still standing there? Can you hear me? You can't hurt me. Someone is going to get badly hurt. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Stop. Okay, enough. Look, we're both stuck in this place. I'll use lasers to inscribe a line down the center of the facility, and one half will be where you live. And I'll live in the other half. We won't have to try to kill each other or even talk if we don't feel like it. The talking is over. Thank you for helping us help you help us. <laughs> Jesus. 
Gee, I wonder if this video is gonna get a uh, copyright claim by whatever Matrix truck this is. I need to get the hell out of here. No! John Freeman punched and hit combines in front, but all now combines we're back. <laughs> back shot rockets and machine guns. A rocket hit John Freeman, but he got up and killed more combines. And then a combine went at John Freeman's back and stabbed him. But John Freeman got knee foul and stabbed combine in brain. Combines got close and hit John Freeman body with bullets. But John Freeman kicked combines back. John Freeman kept fighting combines and put head up to tower and saw it go bright and break, then turned around in last second and saw a motorcycle in far off safe place and was happy. Henry Freeman and the people in the motorcycle saw the tower go like neon stars and fire and loud noises. Then the people went down, but Henry Freeman kept going and didn't say nothing. After the world was nice and Hummins had new city and happy because the Combines was gone and nobody was slave or sad. President Henry Freeman and people and animals and earth had peace and in the middle of the new city was a statue that said, John Freeman, Saver of Hummins. Dude, I want to play this map in TTT. Yeah, I get it. You had fun in the freaking source movie janky thing. What was that program called? It's like built into the source engine. You could like make your own videos or whatever. I had fun with that. They sure did too. Not source filmmaker, no. In every freaking source game, you. Maybe it started with. Uh, I don't remember. You could record? You could record in the engine and go back and edit the camera angles and stuff. And it was in engine. It wasn't mo it wasn't freaking source filmmaker, it was built into the game. Like in Left 4 Dead. Source recorder, yeah. Like in Left 4 Dead, I recorded videos in Left 4 Dead, played them back in Left 4 Dead, edited camera angles in Left 4 Dead. It was just like a console command away. That's how I did the, uh, that's how I did this video. Gosh, what the frick is that video even called? Uh, 60,000 sub video? Is that what it is? That's how I did this video. I think it's this one. Yeah, see, look, look at the camera and stuff. Yeah, you can tell I had fun doing this. Oh 
Wow, that was off the chain! Oh, oh, hell yeah. Hot. I really appreciate it. Really. Thanks, Phil. He imagined it all. <laughs> you know, that wasn't a bad video. I had fun in G... Well, that wasn't even G... Well, I did use G mod, but it was mostly in-game camera stuff. But a lot of that stuff was G mod, too. For the time, oh. So now it's not a good video. How Bill really died. What's that be first result? Oh. Not even on the list. <laughs> this one's just images, though. This one isn't even, like, animated whatsoever. This is just straight up me posing and taking screenshots. How the hell did this happen? Whoa! Holy crap! Ho <laughs> uh. ho <clears throat> what the hell was that? Uh, <sighs> oh yeah, Half-Life for life consequences. Is the whole rest of the video just circling that statue? Oh, it's credits now. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, they did have jiggle physics. I had a lot of fun in Gmod back then. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Actually, I just had I had a lot of fun posing them and taking screenshots. I just did that for hours. I don't have any videos of that either because it was just images. I used to have fun just posing in Gmod, like I do like Star Fox, um, and like shooting stuff and all sorts of stuff. What about the other videos? I don't want to. How about that? How about that? Jeez, 9.3k views in 2017? That's when I got affiliated. <coughs> That track's so good. It's from, uh... It's from that show. Yeah. Yeah, Megas XLR. Thank you. How did you know? That's what it's from. That sh did that that show never finished, right? It just kind of died. This was a funny one. Well, I crack up at slow mo sound effects, and that sounded straight up fartish. It's like good old dial up. Not dial up. This is my uh, DSL internet. I can't Man, 
I can't believe I got viewers with this kind of quality. But when you put streaming into the mix... <laughs> All the lights in the house off in order for it to work. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, I'm shutting the door. This game was so friggin' hilarious. It was hilarious. I, I played to the end because of how stupidly hilarious it was. I don't even remember what that game was called. Some jank horror game on Steam. You blew it. I want to replay Cuphead. It's been three years. <gasps> Scared me greatly. I have to minimize my game. Oh, you freaking lord. Let's change it further. Give you the tools you need to find. <sighs> DLC's coming for what? I thought the DLC already came for Cuphead. I had both of them in air and then I, I just shot everyone. I'm so sorry. I would like to point out I got <laughs> I, I stumbled both hunters and they both slapped me while they're being stunned. I shot I remember when you got slapped by the hunter and you died. Like you got I down. have it in my mix match. I don't think yeah, Kari yeah. knows that I, I, I shot her. There's a there's a witch right there, you might want to look out. She's shooting at me, hell. You know Kakari you're <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh. It's not <laughs> out yet! Bull friggin' crap! This was years ago! Cuphead DLC. Initially announced for 2018. Good lord! Yeah, it was years ago, and it's still not out. Wow. Got him. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even care about the witch. I was just trying to shoot him. <sighs> it's not that. It's not that it's, DLCs don't take that long. It's that it's all hand-drawn, and that does take a long time. All that stuff's hand-drawn animation. That scared the crap out of me. I thought it was someone in my room. Oh! Myra. You've become an incredible woman. Gosh, stop so really it. Can pull it off. He killed the spitter. That's gonna burn you guys! That oh, was really close. My freaking That's god! That did not die, no. <laughs> I know. Die. Are you fucking kidding me? It hit one here. random zombie. It hit one random zombie. Okay. Of course it's gonna hit a zombie. There's a horde in front listen, of us. Listen, I'm the most. Listen, I'm first. the most confident player here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that mask is from. Dishonored, you frick. Talk about porn in a horror game, and you get spooked. Here. Oh, I'm in here. I swear to God. 
That was Are quite startling, right when I looked over. Get out of the way, I'm gonna- <gasps> I don't know. Oh, no, you were way crooked, what was I that? didn't- Crap, I don't have a log, help head. me! Help me! Oh god, oh no, help me, Daniel! She probably got stuck in that game, the game was alright. Alright, just start mashing the button right now. <laughs> I still don't know what happened here. I don't know what else to do right now. He's dead! Like, I, like, I was, I was, this is the final boss of the game and I kept dying to him. And I, I could not beat him. And I was just, like, trying to prep for it, drinking potions. And I just spammed his freaking ard and the final boss died. I think Ard, when it's upgraded all the way, it has, like, a percentage chance to insta-kill. And I think that's just what happened. Like, I was spamming Ard, and one of those percentile chances of him insta-dying happened. And it happened on the final boss. Hello. <laughs> what was that kill blitz? <sighs> this game was probably just a glitch. Gotta play the first Witcher. <laughs> you won't like it, trust me. No one likes the first Witcher but me. I love that game, but no one else does. Yeah, I had a mod for it. I had quite a few mods for it. You know me, I can't play a game without modding it. Of course I had a mod in it. This is a video game. I did not... <laughs> Supposed to, I'll bet it's supposed to be chasing me right now. But it glitched in minute. Did Pop Domo get reset? Yeah, Campy Carl, you're the top donor of the day. Thank you very much for the donation. <gasps> what? Man, I was friggin'. Oh, Look at all those freaking donations and follows, but that's October. That always happens. Oh, I need to change my notifications. I still have ho, ho, ho. Man, I haven't had a donation all month. Did I? Maybe I have, but it's ho, ho, ho still. <gasps> Holy frick, that scared me. That's the game, right? Oh, oh my gosh. Right, Cat? You're showing me the way. There's a lot of way. You can get into... I think Witcher 3 is an easy game to come back to play because there's a lot of flipping recap stuff. <laughs> you can read bios and, like, when you start it up, it gives you that chapter narration, like, what? Geralt goes here and does this and he needs to do this. I did get one from Leroy. What? Was it Ho-Ho-Ho? It wasn't Ho-Ho-Ho. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't that... have walked towards it. Maybe Ho-Ho's like 10 and up. I need, regardless, I need to change my donation. Notification. Yeah, no, it was the merchant. Pretty sure it's because, uh... It's ten and up with those ho ho. Gosh, I wish I kept playing this. Gosh, I wish I kept playing this. This game was pure cheese. I am so glad that I reloaded. <laughs> Holy back crap. There again. Now, can you not see I am with a client? Yeah, I can see that. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. There's nothing I need from you. Good. 
That game. Yes, it is Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I did not expect this game to scare Phantasmagora me. Phantasmagoria or is it Goria? It. Yeah, unequip that. You uninstall so Left 4 Dead. What the hell? Oh my god! Is he dead? I can't tell. The UA UE server. This is like my first foray into PUBG by myself, and it was like a EU server and it was the worst thing. It is Goria, I knew it. Good night. Is this where I hit my knee? Oh. That was my knee. <gasps> Good night. Oh. Good night. <laughs> I'm wearing those exact shorts right now. them why did I stop numbering them that's brilliant why did I number them you freaking idiot why did I stop numbering them that makes so much more sense to number them because then I can just put the, the month under it even if it's the same month like January but it's number four January number five. Oh my gosh that's brilliant why didn't I do that why did I stop doing that? Why did I stop doing that? The frick's wrong with me. The frick! Alright, chat. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you again, Leroy, for the donation. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Maybe I'll start earlier. Because I won't be troubleshooting my Oculus. <laughs> they better just be like, Alright, Here's the mailing address. Put your ticket number. Mail it. We'll replace the controller. That's all I want. That's all I want. We'll see tomorrow what they say. We'll be like, Well, we want you to try this. Did you uninstall and reinstall Windows? Shut up. I tried two different PCs, you fricks. Good night, chat. You have a good one. I'll see you when I see you, which should be tomorrow. Better be.